time. Welcome back to Melbourne Park. You're with High Sense Arena action right now on Australia's sports leader, Fox Sports. But of course, don't forget, you can see live coverage from three other courts. Just hit that red button on your remote. You've got Margaret Court Arena, Show Court 2, Show Court 3, plus everything that the players say Please after their matches. Seats. But the interview room loop happening there as well. So you don't have to miss a thing on Fox Sports coverage of the opening Grand Slam of 2012. Certainly a number that we will keep an eye on. Guess right. Didn't quite control it. Just on the racket thing. Thirteen. You mentioned before that she's changed to a Babalat racket amongst a whole host. No doubt. from both players but getting back to the rackets overall balance overall weight swing weight but each racket still has its characteristics and what it does oh, fantastic return and the pure drive that Guy so was using is, is a wide body racket Kirilenko. Case in point. <laughs> so Kirilenko, Kirilenko holds on. Three games three games to one. One. Who are some of the other players that are using the type of racket that Guidus has got? Uses that racket. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I believe Lena, you know, she hits a good ball, and I think that racket helps her to hit a little bit harder than she, than she could otherwise. So that's a balance. And the other issue is the strings. You've got to get the strings right as well. There's so many to choose from. A bit of power on that forehand. That was big. 13. Oh, well, a few players uh, try it. That's when the uh, rackets are painted black. So heavy hitting from the baseline as we expected really the match on the racket of Guidus over. She is the player with the ability to get the ball through the court. Heavy ground strokes to create short balls. Kirilenko staying tough thus far. Big serve. She's got one of the best serves in the women's game. She went into Wimbledon last year. So important to get the drive through the legs all the way up like a spring, a coil. Fourteen thirty. Good serve, much needed ace. Got us over, holds on. Oh. 
See, it's a shot Fifteen like that minutes. where she's not getting into position, the feet aren't behind the ball, and in a way swinging a little bit too hard. And I feel really strongly about this because I used to use that racket. <laughs> you needed that extra punch. I did need did the, the punch, but uh, for me it just, I also needed the control. better when she hits that flat ball. It's 15 something a bit new. Heavy ball, so when it's actually making impact on your racket, yeah, it's hard and fast, but it's also like heavy. It's hard to get through the ball. Yeah, it's Curvy. almost a sensation of having a hammer and seriously hitting a brick. <laughs> So, a few let-offs here for Kirilenko. That is releasing the pressure on Kirilenko. And that's where you want to put the pressure on Kirilenko, is when she's serving. She's a lot more comfortable breaking people's serve compared to holding her own serve. Game. Yeah. Signs that God is over is getting. A bit frustrated. Straight turnaround to her entourage right there after that one had a look and didn't go over. A couple of stats here, um, Nicole. She likes the target, got us over. 15 minutes. Presented with a pretty simple one there of Australia. Shot. So the conclusion we can come to with that is that Guy Sober should be fighting this match or... You can see why that could have happened with Arvidsson. Arvidsson plays quite similar to Kirilenko and on the day was potentially better. Well, obviously better. It's the third ace for Guy Sober. That oh, was a great win by Olivia Rogowska yeah. yesterday. She's been working really hard trying to get her ranking down to that sort of magic number of Top 100 in the world. Game. So good hold for Guy Sova. Kirilenko though with the advantage in this first set. Kirilenko leads four games to three. 